हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ट्रैफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स स्टडी ऑफ ट्रैफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ ट्रैफिक फैसिलिटीज इट मींस दैट फॉर द इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ एनी ट्रैफिक फैसिलिटीज वी हैव टू स्टडी द ट्रैफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इन ट्रैफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वी जनरली स्टडी रोड यूजर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक नेक्स्ट वन इज द व्हीकुलर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड द लास्ट वन इज द ब्रेकिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक नाउ वी विल सी वन बाय वन ईच एंड एवरी टाइप ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इन डिटेल स्टार्टिंग विद द रोड यूजर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टडी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ रोड यूजर बिकॉज द फिजिकल मेंटल एंड इमोशनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स अफेक्ट देयर एबिलिटी it means that it is important to study the characteristic and limitation of road user because it will affect their ability on the road factors affecting road user characteristic now the first factor is the physical factor vision hearing strength and general reaction to traffic situations comes under physical factor now the next factor is the mental knowledge of the vehicle as well as the knowledge of the road skill of the driver intelligence of the driver experience of the driver and literacy of the driver will help the driver to move the vehicle on a particular road safely because if he has the knowledge then he can overtake the slow moving vehicle if he has the skill then he can park his vehicle with utmost care if he has the experience then he will drive the vehicle as smooth as possible and if he is literate then he will read all the instruction written on the particular section of the road now the next factor is the psychological factor that is attentiveness fear anger superstition impatience general attitude towards traffic and regulation and maturity it means that the attentiveness during a traffic jam condition fear anger superstition impatience that is during jam condition if the driver is impatient then it will lead to the accident of the vehicle general attitude towards traffic and regulation and maturity now environmental condition facilities to the traffic atmospheric condition and locality comes under environmental factors now we will see various types of factors the first one is vision that is 6 by 6 vision which is known as normal vision normal vision is defined as the ability of a person to recognize a letter of size 8.5 mm from a distance of 6 meter it means that if a person is able to read a letter of size 8.5 mm from a distance of 6 meter then we can just say that that human being is having a vision of 6 by 6 that is known as normal vision now generally the abnormal vision is less than as compared to the normal vision so the ratio of abnormal vision upon normal vision is less than equals to 1 which is written here now the next type of vision is 6 by 9 vision in this vision a person having 6 by 9 vision has poorer than normal vision because he can recognize any object at a distance of 6 meter what a normal person can recognize at a distance of 9 meter it means that if one person is having a vision of 6 by 9 then he can read or he can recognize any object from a distance of 6 meter what a normal person can recognize from a distance of 9 meter now the next factor is the peripheral vision it means that the total vision of an eye is known as the peripheral vision sharper vision is concentrated in the zone formed by a cone of 3 degree angle about center of retina it means that about center of retina a 3 degree cone will be like this and in this 3 degree cone sharper vision is concentrated okay now the next is the vision is considered as satisfactory up to 10 degree cone or maximum at 12 degree cone it means that 
we can consider the vision up to 10 degree cone and we can allow this up to 12 degree that is the maximum limit of peripheral vision. It is important to consider peripheral vision for location of signboards and information message. It means that we have to consider the peripheral vision because it will affect the location of signboards as well as the information message on a particular section of the road. Angle of peripheral vision declines as speed of vehicle increases. It means that when the speed of vehicle is very high, then angle of peripheral vision is very low because the vehicle is moving at a very high speed. Angle of peripheral vision decline as age of person increases. It is clear that with the increase in the age of the person, the ability of the eye to perceive any object decreases. That's why the angle of peripheral vision also decreases. Peripheral vision deals with total visual field for two eyes and angle of peripheral vision is about 160 degree on horizontal plane. It means that the angle of peripheral vision in horizontal plane is about 160 degree and in vertical plane it is limited up to 115 degree only. Now the next characteristic is the vehicular characteristic. In vehicular characteristic the first topic is the dimension of vehicle that is the length of vehicle. Now length of vehicle affects extra widening on road, turning radius, parking area, capacity. As per Indian Road Congress, the length of vehicle is 6 meter. That is the maximum length of vehicle as per Indian Road Congress is restricted to 6 meter and we can extend this value up to 18 meter for tractor with trailer. Now the next one is the width of vehicle. It affects lane width that is this width that is known as lane width as well as the parking area, shoulder etc. Maximum width of vehicle is 2.44 meter as per Indian Road Congress. Now the height of vehicle. Height of vehicle affects height of bridges, electricity and other service line. Now, as per Indian Road Congress, the maximum height of vehicle is 4.75 meter. Weight of loaded vehicle affects design of pavement thickness and gradient. Maximum axle load, that is standard axle load, is 8170 kg. Now, the next parameter is the power of vehicle. It affects the permissible value and limiting value of gradient. It means that the power of vehicle generally decides the permissible value of gradient as well as the limiting value of gradient of the pavement. Now the next parameter is the design speed. It affects side distance, super elevation, design gradient, length of vertical curve, traffic control device and intersection. Now the next characteristic is the braking characteristic. In braking characteristic the first topic is the braking test. At least two of the following three parameters are needed during the braking test in order to determine skid resistance of the pavement. It means that in the following three parameters, we need to find at least two of the parameters for calculation of the skid resistance of the pavement. Now, the first parameter is the braking distance L, which is shown here. Next one is the initial speed U, which is shown here and actual duration of brake application that is D. Now, at this point, the vehicle has applied the brake and at this point, the vehicle will stop. So, the final speed of the vehicle will be equals to 0. Now, we will see one by one each and every parameter in detail starting with the retardation process. Now, we know that V is equals to U plus AT. Now at this condition, the value of V is 0. So we had written here 0. The value of U is U and A is the acceleration of the vehicle and T is the time. So we can calculate the value of retardation. It is minus A which will be equals to U by T. That is known as initial speed divided by time. That is the value of retardation. Now this is very important. 
as per the gate examination point of view. Thus, if initial velocity and braking length is known, F can be calculated easily. After the application of brakes, the work done against the frictional force for stopping the vehicle will be equal to the kinetic energy of the vehicle. So, kinetic energy of the vehicle will be equal to half mu square and the total work done will be equal to force into displacement. Now, force will be equal to frictional force that is Fw into distance that is L. On solving this, we will calculate the value of capital L which will be equal to u square upon 2gf where L is the braking distance. Now, the second parameter is the skid resistance. Now, we know that V square minus U square equals to 2 AS. Now, we will put the value of V here 0 because the final speed of the vehicle is 0. Now, on solving this, we will calculate the value of L which will be equals to U square upon 2 into minus A which is written here also. Now, we know that from the previous derivation that L is equals to U square upon 2 GF and here L is equals to U square upon 2 into minus A. So, the value of minus A will be equals to GF which is shown here. It is known as retardation which will be equals to skid resistance into acceleration due to gravity. Here skid resistance is denoted by small f. Now, the next parameter is the skid distance. Now, we know that the equation will be like this S is equals to ut plus half of at square but here the distance will be capital L so we had written the equation as L equals to ut plus half of at square. Now we had calculated the value of a that is minus u by t. In the first step we had calculated the value of minus a which will be equals to u by t so we had replaced the value of a here it will be equals to ut plus half of minus u by t into t square. On solving this, we will get the value of capital L that is skid distance equals to half into u into t which is known as half into initial speed into time. Now, the next parameter is the brake efficiency. Now, brake efficiency will be equals to F obtained upon F maximum into 100. Now, F obtained is calculated from the previous formulas and F maximum is given in the question. On dividing these two values and multiplying by 100, we will get the brake efficiency. So, F obtained will be equals to u square upon 2gl as per the previous derivations. That is all about the traffic characteristic. Thank you very much students.